Hi, I'm Russ Kaffer, and this is Business Makers USA, brought to you by Insperity, inspiring business performance. We're in Indianapolis, Indiana, and my guest is Dr. Mark Kelly, founder and chief scientific officer with Apexian Pharmaceuticals. Mark, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. You bet. Tell us about <clears throat> Apexian. Well, Apexian was formed about eight years ago uh, based on some uh, discoveries that were made in my laboratory uh, at the IU School of Medicine here in Indianapolis. And they licensed it and got together with some local investors to form Apexian and basically to move what we discovered uh, on the bench uh, to help patients, which is what we're about, a cancer drug discovery company. Let's get into it, but before we do, go back to when you discovered it. I mean, when you saw it and when you saw the results, I mean, did you light up and go, wow? Well, um, yeah, maybe a slow light up because okay. I've been working on this target for over 27 years, this wow. particular target in the cancer cell. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, uh, yes, we've been studying this for a while and when we had some drugs, we took forward to look at how they would affect our target. Mm -hmm. We realized this has potential to help patients and that's what we're here for. Okay, give us a little bit more detail. I mean, as we all know, almost all of our lives have been touched by cancer right. and everybody's always mm. lighting up when they think, right. wow, maybe this is it. So uh, describe for us what you think you have found. Well, it's a, it's a unique protein in the cancer cell that drives the cancer cell to grow. Mm -hmm. um, and, we, and that's what you wanna stop to mm -hmm. treat cancer. Mm -hmm. It's also uh, talks to a lot of other proteins in the cell. And so what's unique about it and novel is we've developed a drug, APX3330, that targets this protein and it stops it doing uh, its multiple functions it does in the cell. And it's very specific, it just hits this protein. Okay, and so in the discovery process, did you, you already knew about the protein right. and came up with the drug. Right. And, and uh, that's the way you start heading down the path of a solution. That's correct, yes. We had this drug, we started uh, testing it, mm -hmm. doing a lot of different models in the lab, and, and also through Apexian, we're fortunate, uh, we had a lot of great chemists on board mm -hmm. uh, from uh, actually a lot of local talent. Uh, and so we were able to make new compounds too. So we're not just a, a one-hit wonder with the one drug. We have a whole pipeline of drugs we're developing. Great, okay. And so uh, when you put together a staff of uh, scientists and PhDs, it, it calls for money and you, you already right. mentioned that you had some <clears throat> investors here. I mean, are you continuously raising money when you're doing something yes, like that? Yes, uh, we, it's privately owned and private okay. investors, and mainly angel investors initially, okay. uh, and, but we've been talking to others and we're still talking to venture capitalists and others, but we're looking for money. We're, we're in the middle of our phase one trial in cancer, which is a safety trial for our drugs. So we've been able to get to that point, which is a big step to get through the lab, from the lab sure. into human patients sure. for the trial. Sure, sure. A lot of a lot of drugs never make it there, right? Right. Yeah. So we're we're really happy about that. Well, what do you actually have to do to be able to get to that point? I mean, you have to file what's called an IND, and that's a package of material mm -hmm. on uh, showing that the drug is safe in the animals models. You have to show it has some effect. What you're going after. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then you have to do a lot of safety and toxicity in the animals. You have to uh, make the drug mm -hmm. under uh, a procedure where it's sterile and so you can give it to patients. Okay. And all that costs a lot of money. And sure. all that is really outside the scope of academia. So that's sure. uh, where Apexian came sure. in. And, and, and phase one is really in, in humans to also right. show that it's safe. Once right, again. It's, it, you it, still have to do that. Yeah. It, is it possible in, in phase one sometimes, I mean, do the participants in your phase one, do some or do all of them maybe have cancer right now? In this phase one, they're all cancer patients okay. uh, who unfortunately have failed standard treatments. And so they're taking our drug and really, you know, we can't do this without them. You know, I right. can't say enough for the patients right. who do this. And so they're taking our drug and we're uh, escalating the dose to see what dose we can use for a further trial, one in the future. Uh, that looks for the effects of it. But this okay. is to make sure it's safe. The first thing you want to do is a drug that's safe. You don't okay. want to do any harm. Okay. And whether it's safe or not, it's possible that it, it might help these people right. at the same yes. time. Yeah. Yes. Or we're still looking. We have biomarkers we look mm -hmm. for. We do uh, scans and we have other things we're looking for. 
Um, again, it's really to make sure the drug's safe and to get the next dose. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely, yeah. we're hoping you know it has yeah. some effect. Yeah, in, yeah. In yeah. Best case stuff. scenario, it's safe <clears throat> and you see some absolutely. positive impact. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so let's say we just made it through and it's safe. And the next step then is the, in cancer. The next step is called a phase two, two. trial, and that's for uh, efficacy. That's okay. to show that the drug's now doing what you hope it to do. Uh, we've been focusing on colon and pancreatic cancer. Uh, in colon cancer to be metastatic colon cancer patients mm -hmm. who've really ha uh, failed a lot of the other trials um, and then they'll be treated with our drug and, and other drugs um, and same with pancreatic cancer. So that would be a phase two to look for an effect. Okay. And phase two is when you compare it to a placebo. Right. 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 Okay. Yes. Yeah. My and goodness. Right. The other interesting thing about this, if I can say this, is this drug is very unique in the target because not only is it affecting the tumor cells, mm -hmm. the cancer, mm -hmm. but it shows that by blocking this protein in uh, neurons, uh, neurons that control your uh, the fingers, mm -hmm. the tingling, your mm -hmm. sense of your walking and your feet, that a lot of patients get, it's called peripheral neuropathy okay. and pain. And a lot of patients have to come off their treatment when they're treated with chemotherapy and even the new more targeted drugs, even immunotherapy. Mm -hmm. And our drug appears to prevent that, that neuropathy. Wow. So it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going after the tumor cells and we're also protecting the neurons so the patients would one, have a better quality of life, mm -hmm. and two, they'd be able to stay on their treatments longer to get you know, the drugs oh, yeah. that are helping them. Okay. So we're so, very so, excited. So, so it's possible uh, that you might have questionable area in the, in the efficacy of the drug, but th just the fact that it, 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 mm -hmm. it cures this neuropathy, you might still take it Absolutely, to the Absolutely, yeah. That's the right. neat thing about the right. target and the drugs that we really have a couple shots on goal, if you will, right. that we can look for both the tumor and, and that. And we have a bunch of different cancer indications we're looking okay. at. Okay. Describe the people that work for you, that are with you in this mission. Uh, my CEO is Steve Carcetti. He had, uh, uh, most of them have passed through Lilly at one time or another. Mm -hmm. uh, he worked actually at one time with Homer Pierce, who led Lilly Oncology mm -hmm. here. Um, and Homer's head of our scientific board. Uh, so Homer's local. Uh, Steve's now worked with a number of big pharma mm -hmm. and he's now uh, uh, in Philadelphia but comes here all the time. I have a great CMO, uh, Rich Messman, as my chief medical officer, is fabulous. He trained at the NCI and is, is, is really great for the trials. Uh, Roger Miller is the COO who uh, uh, really worked for years doing all of the Lilly's manufacturing. Wow. So he had the CMC work for the drug. Okay. So, and then I have Roberta and Bill who are regulatory in toxicology. So, so, you know, you look at this group and it's a senior group of people. Uh, it's not their first rodeo. Mm -hmm. And that's really been phenomenal to work with because they know how to do everything. When wow. we filed our uh, anti-neuropathy indication mm -hmm. with the FDA, we had approval in a few days, wow. which is very rare. So, but that's because everything was buttoned up and just perfect. So okay. I can't say enough about having a great team around you. Cool. You know, it's all teamwork. Cool, absolutely. I mean, I, I love missions like what you're on and particularly difficult missions that last multiple years <clears throat> and what it must be like uh, yeah. in, in that endeavor. Uh, I've compared it to some of my, you know, more uh, re uh, normal business uh, offices that, you know, we ring the bell when we get a new customer. And uh, it must be it must be tough at times over there. Yeah, it's, it's tough, but, <clears throat> you know, I love science. I yeah. mean, it's like I tell my students, you know, you're discovering things that have never been seen before right. when right. you do stuff. Right. So that's the great thing. Right. You get to work with really smart people. Um, both my science, my lab at, at IU, and then also Apexian, you know, I get to use a different part of sure. my brain, and I've learned so much about the whole thing. Sure. But, you know, it's, um, we kind of like to say at Apexian a lot, and, and I'm, I'm still in a quote, uh, that, you know, we're not doing things because they're easy, we're doing things because they're hard. Because, yeah. you know, it's no fun, the easy things. And, and, you know, really at the end of the day, it's about the patients. Sure, you know, absolutely. It's really about the patients, it's absolutely. why we're here. Okay, so. Uh, best case scenario, I mean, maybe it's maybe it's a, a not good idea to even project the future <laughs> in what you do, but it, it, if everything turned out great, it was effective, mm -hmm. and you got it, and you went to market and passed the other to, what's the soonest time that could possibly be? Maybe three to four years, okay, um, well. you know, depending on finances, and, you know, some right. of it just takes time to run the sure. trials, but, uh, 
And we have some other uh, indications that we could even move a little faster. Oh, uh, wow. But yeah, good. that's a good time frame. Well, Mark, uh, I, along with many people that I'm sure watching, wish you success in your endeavor for sure. And thanks a lot for sharing your story. Well, thank you very much. And thanks for having me. You bet. And that wraps up my discussion with Dr. Mark Kelly, founder and chief scientific officer with Apexian Pharmaceuticals. And this is Business Makers USA.